Okay, yeah, so we started off the first thing this morning with a nice big climb. Uh, wow. And now we got, it's not quite clear as to how to get to the other side, though John kind of remembers. Yeah, kind of remembers from when he was here 14 years ago. I don't know how, but we're trying to get, we got it. We have to walk across the interstate to get to the starting point. Oh. This might be good for your video. I saw the Appalachian Trail was marked. Oh, the white two, dots? Two by six white blazes are not dots. They'll oh. correct you fast. I okay. Like <laughs> are they reflective? So you no. can hit them with a flashlight? No. Oh, okay. Uh, but they're not. They're, they're painted on. Oh, you can see it on the next post right. as well. But that's oh, so if we follow that, that gets us across yeah. the highway. What it is, that's the parking lot. When we came down there, the blazes come from there. And then you shoot across. Okay. All right. I just want to point it out. Yeah. Video, yeah. Blazes, not dots. Yes. Remember that. <laughs> okay. As you can see, it was raining this morning. Um, we waited till the rain stopped, turned the key in. The guy that runs the place there <laughs> was outside when we walked in the door. So, oh, okay. Wow, I would have never found this if I hadn't, didn't know. Okay. So, now we can cut to the yard here. Now, this is another little uh, piece of information for our audience. A double white blaze means the trail is about to change direction. Oh. Which you're, rather, you're getting ready to go left or right, or, um, <clears throat> like I said, there's going to be a change of direction. Okay, and then so the arrow right. indicates the direction is changing. Well, there may not always be an arrow. In this uh -huh. case, there is because you're in a town. Uh -huh. But usually in the middle of the woods, is not. That just alerts you that you're going to have to change course. Okay. So, All just right. a little... Interesting tidbit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. You can tell... I was in the water yesterday. Brakes are all squeaky this morning. And this is how we're going to get across the interstate here. There's a walking path. It gets us to the other side. So this is I-80. I think. No, 84. Okay. All right. So we're off and walking. So, to get to the road that we're on, the uh, this is a one-lane road with stoplights on both ends. Because uh, you can see there's no place to pull over, even if you met another car. But we're on bikes, so we kind of cheated. And we got a car, car back. So, we'll let this car get around us. We're going to be along the uh, the river again today, so hopefully not too many hills for us. Though we're starting out on one. I didn't record it, wasn't thinking, but this morning John had a very nutritious strawberry, was it strawberry pie? Blueberry. Blueberry pie. It's about half the size of a regular pie. 
and I had an oatmeal cream pie that was about three inches thick, about six inches in diameter. We picked up at the uh, bakery yesterday. Uh, it was more than I could handle, actually. I have a sweet tooth, but that was way too sweet. The area we're in is really heavy woods. The road, we talked to a ridge runner and uh, he said the road was closed up here, but he thought we could get by on bikes. So that's what we're gonna try to do or else it would put us really out a lot of distance. So what he said it was is uh, they just needed to repave the road. So uh, we're hoping that we can just ride over it, walk around it, whatever we gotta do. But uh, that's what you see coming up here. <laughs> we have to adjust for. And it looks like you got the, uh, they worked the foundation of the road down, so they just haven't paved it yet. So we just left uh, Millbrook Village Historical Site. And uh, though I can't tell what grade it is, there was no pedaling up this thing. So we're doing hike a bike to get to the top. Hopefully it's not super long. But as I look up the ridge there, it's not stopping. Ugh. It's been real slow going today. Uh, the road conditions are not very good. And they're trying to keep us on back roads. We've been doing a lot of climbing. And then the descents on a crappy road, you're on the brakes the whole time, which isn't good. But what are you supposed to do? You throw your bike into a tizzy end up tearing something up so yeah we've gone I don't remember what time we started this morning but we've gone uh, about 30 miles so far oh yeah we got a little bit to go yet today too so we stopped for a snack we're 32 miles in uh, not too far from Montague, New Jersey. So we've been zigzagging back and forth. Sometimes we might be in Pennsylvania. Sometimes we might be in New Jersey. But today we're intersecting those two states with New York. And then this evening we'll be in New York. So... That's where we're at. The corner sections of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York. That's where we're at. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trucking along. Not going as fast as I'd like, but you can't on this. This road is absolutely horrible. There's not a smooth spot on this road. Well, right now you see it, but man, it's been rough. So it's been an exhausting day, but we've made it to our ninth state. Uh, we're getting ready to cross into Orange County, New York. We was afraid that if there wasn't another sign, we would miss this one, so we stopped for this one. <laughs> when they're going out of their way for us. Yeah. So we're at a campground, first time in, what, since what, Richmond? Yeah. 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 where we stayed at a warm showers at Richmond and we are now in we just crossed into New York not too long ago so second. we are in Cudabacville Cuda yeah New York. New York 
So uh, just waiting for them to come check us in. And then tomorrow night we have a warm shower. So we stopped and got some lunch because we knew we didn't, we wouldn't have a lot of food options. So we thought we'd eat uh, before we got here. And then we had two decent climbs on a full stomach. <laughs> We're dragging right now. <laughs> yeah. We're just glad to be done. So, but all in all, today was rough. rough. The first part was rough. Once we got on the highway, it was easy. Forgot what it was like to be on back roads. I mean, serious road back was, roads. Yeah, the road was tore up. Yeah. And we had gravel. Yeah, gravel. Soft yeah. gravel. Yeah, where they hadn't they hadn't asphalted yet, so that really made things slow. But the road, there was one road. They, they even had a sign that said rough road, and it was rough the entire length of the road, which was a very long way. So we were probably doing like, what, seven, eight miles an hour, yeah. maybe at that. So, and it but, wasn't hilly, it was just due to the road was so rough, yeah. we couldn't get the, you know, it, Yeah, it, but... I'd say it was like that, what, the first, what, 30 miles? <laughs> 35 yeah, miles yeah, or something? Yeah, it wore out. So, okay, all right, well, that's it for the day. So, uh, Christy said we could stay in the uh, rec center, which is where we're at right now. And you can kind of see how we... We've kind of taken over the place. Uh, there, the, the campground is really not open yet. They got some people here now, but uh, uh, it's not in full swing, so it makes it real easy for us to do this. That's why she said we could do what we're doing. But you can see where we kind of got the bikes parked and uh, how we got the uh, the <laughs> how we're going to utilize the tables. The reason we, we like doing that is you get bugs on the floor. Uh, over on this side of the room, on the other side of our bags, there's a pile of wood, and they talked about snakes, and who knows, there might be a creepy crawler sitting in there, so we don't want him crawling in with us, so we'll just stay on the on the tabletops. So we, and that's typically what we've done in the past anyway, is if we would just to stay off the ground. So, all right, that's it for the night, and uh, warm showers tomorrow.